Hey guys, I'm Tyler from Mishimoto, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Mishimoto Direct Fit Oil Cooler Kit into the Mitsubishi Evo 7, 8, and 9. For installation of the Mishimoto Direct Fit Oil Cooler Kit for the Mitsubishi Evo 7, 8, and 9, you will need a ratchet, ratchet extension, 10 millimeter socket, 12 millimeter socket, 24 millimeter socket, 27 millimeter socket, pop clip pliers, flat head screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver, 10 millimeter wrench, and a one inch wrench. You'll also need a funnel and a quart of oil. Installation time is about two hours, and it's a three out of five on the difficulty scale. First things first, jack up the car and secure it on jack stands. Next, remove the two pop clips and one 10 millimeter bolt from each side of the fender well splash guard. Next, pull back on the splash shield in the fender well and pull down on the front bumper. Next, remove the two covers above the fog light housings and remove the two 10 millimeter bolts behind them. Next, you're going to want to pop the hood. Next, remove the four pop clips on the top of the front bumper above the grill. Next, remove the two 10 millimeter bolts holding the front bumper to the upper radiator support. Next, remove the front bumper. Now you're ready to assemble the mounting brackets onto the oil cooler. Make sure to leave all of the bolts loose so you can make final adjustments when mounting it onto the car. Next, remove the oil filter. Next, unbolt the two oil lines connected to the oil filter sandwich plate. Next, remove the three 12 millimeter bolts holding the oil cooler brackets to the car. Next, connect the oil lines to the Mishimoto oil cooler. The line with the straight fitting on one end and the 90 degree fitting on the other end connect to the top port. The line with the 90 degree fitting on one end and the 45 degree fitting on the other end connect to the bottom port. Next, install the four 12 millimeter bolts that hold the Mishimoto oil cooler to the car. Now that the Mishimoto oil cooler is installed, hook up the oil lines to the sandwich plate. To make the installation of the oil lines a little easier, first, connect the fittings to the sandwich plate. Then, connect the oil lines to the fittings. Now that the oil lines are installed, make sure to tighten down all your connections. Next, reinstall your oil filter.
Next, reinstall the front bumper. Next, reinstall the two 10mm bolts and two pop clips that hold the front bumper to the upper radiator support. Next, reinstall the four pop clips above the grill. Next, reinstall the two 10mm bolts above the fog light housings on the front of the bumper. Next, we're going to pop in the sides of the bumper. Lift up on the bottom of the bumper to make sure it pops into place. Next, we're going to reinstall the two pop clips and one 10mm bolt on each side of the car that holds the fender liner to the bumper. Now that everything's been installed, we're going to refill the system with oil, check the dipstick, and start the car and check for leaks. Alright guys, that concludes the install. Go out and enjoy your new Mishimoto product.